How's it going? How's it going? We got a unboxing today. New jewelry. New jewelry Monday. That's not a thing, but today is going to be a thing. New jewelry Monday. Uh, all right. So the other day I made a video um, about some five gram pumps that me and the wife got. Um, I have a five gram Veriscan bar. My wife just recently pur purchased the five gram uh, Fortuna pendant. Both are five gram. Um, I went over this in a video, like two videos ago. Um, the five gram bar is slightly larger in size than the pendant. The pendant is thicker. The bar is larger diameter wise. The pendant is taller, but the bar is wider all the way around and looks larger next to each other. When you have them next to each other, this just has such a larger presence than this does. Um, so my wife has a five gram bar. Uh, she bought it, we bought it, uh, bought a bunch of gold recently. Uh, her five gram bar is gonna go in the bank, but I really love the way that uh, Pump makes their pendants and their bars. Um, I have this five gram bar that I purchased from Atmex for like $190 years ago, two, three years ago. It's worth over 400 now, around 400 at least. So, um, I found a company. Oh yeah, you got, you notice this guy is naked, but he's not gonna be naked very long. So, found a company called Aiden Manufacturing. Um, could be Aiden Jewelry. Look Aiden up, it's spelled A-Y-D-I-N. Um, manufacturing or jewelry or something like that. On this slip it says, uh, on the this, uh, packing slip it says uh, manufacturing. Uh, but Aiden, they make jewelry items. So they make uh, pendants, um, bezels. They sell, um, I believe, pumps already in bezels. Oh, it's hot. All right, so I bought a bezel for the five gram pamp. Pamp, pomp, let's see. Bust this open. I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this for, for days now. All right, it should be a five gram Veriscan bar. Gold screw top diamond cut bezel. And they sent it to me in this weird little envelope, which you can see the uh, impression of the pendant. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is going to look nice. It's going to look real nice. So, here's the pendant bezel. And we will put the pump in the bezel and she will dangle from my South African gold chain um, so what I like to do is I like to have a few things with me um, I have a scale a digital scale I bought from a gas station that way I can um, weigh my gold jewelry and everything like that um, I bought this Loctite I like I like the super glue Loctite. Uh, I've made a chain like this before. Um, I use a tiny, tiny amount of Loctite on a toothpick, and I rub it on the screw itself and the screw hole. Oh, hold on. This is a T-shirt that me and the wife designed. Came up a little bit higher. The shirt design should have started here, but it started a little low. Oh, we got a toothpick. All right. So yeah, so what you need to do this, um, let's see if I can prop this thing up a little bit, probably not, I think that's, so I got this toothpick, I got my pendant, the 
bar at least, a bezel. I got some Loctite glue to screw it down, uh, to hold it in place. I'm gonna pull the screw out and put a little bit of Loctite on the, just on the, a little bit on the, uh, the ridges of the screw and then just on the tap of the hole on the pendant. And then I'll put it in, screw it in. Uh, it's, it's helped keeping it together. Um, I got a pair of scissors and I got this tiny little screwdriver and hopefully it works. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it should work. And lastly, got to have a glove or two because you do not want to get, let's see, hopefully they're all the same size. I'm just going to make the video straight up. I'm not going to, uh, hopefully I don't get any customers because I don't want to pause it. And I guess I'll put this other one on. I got these tattoo, uh, these are gloves from my wife's uh, tattoo job. As you can tell, one is really, really tight. I think it's a small, and this one is like baggy. It's probably a large. All right, what do we do now? First of all, this is a scary part. I hate doing this, but it's the only way to do it is to snip a piece of the top of this plastic. No turning back now. It's been snipped. Pull this back a little bit, and we'll pop out the bar. I keep forgetting that the camera's on this side. I keep looking on that side, but the camera's on this side, right here. Well, here's the bar, five gram. Just in case. You drop it on there, and it is exactly five grams on the dot. That's good. I didn't think it was going to be anything more than that. Oh, I knew it was going to be five grams. All right. Uh, let me get a napkin. Uh, I have a soft, uh, a little soft uh, piece of padding there. All right. Now, let's pull out the bezel. Uh, it has coin ridges on the sides. It's hard to tell. It's got coin ridges on the sides, and the front is diamond uh, diamond etched. And it weighs 2.7 grams, which is good, because I was assuming that this is only going to be a one gram, one and a half ish, I believe, is what they said. Uh, Came out to be more, obviously, slightly more. That's good. So, first thing we'll do, let's get this screw out. You gotta be very, very careful. You don't wanna strip it, the screw. So when you're pulling it out, you gotta be careful not to turn it the wrong way. Also, when you're putting it back in, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to strip it, like I said. You don't want to screw too much. Uh, it can actually s s strip the screw. I never, uh, I never change. I never pull the screw out. Once it's a pendant, it's going to be a pendant forever. I wish I had a set up where I can put the camera over my shoulder or maybe somebody here to help me with the video but I like making the videos by myself I honestly I can't concentrate when people are around me um, I get very I get a lot of anxiety and anxious when people are standing next to me or around me when I'm doing something okay so now we're gonna put the and there seems to be somebody coming to my drive through
So this is the fun part is actually getting him into the bezel. So you gotta open it a little bit. You gotta pry it open a little. Then what you do is you take the bar. This is very scary, hard to do, because you don't want to mess it up. Right, so we'll go down with the bottom first, like so. Alright, this is the hard part. Got it in. Hold on one second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this anyways. A little glue. All right. All right. And boom. There you have it. Pump pendant. And oh, go ahead and pop these off. And it does not fit inside the chain. My uh, part right here is a little too.
Oh. Well, it doesn't fit in the chain at all. Try something different here. Well, it doesn't fit in it, but the pump is ready to be worn. I'll have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do later. Uh, I guess I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to try one thing. Hopefully it works. All right, and that elongated just enough, hopefully, to where it still won't go. Just a little bit. That didn't do it, then I'm gonna have to take it to a jewelry shop. Nope, I'm gonna have to take it to a jewelry shop. Anyways. The pendant is done. I would love it to be dangling off my chain, but it's not. But I will be figuring out how to get that to work probably in the next day. But uh, I guess deuces, or let me try again in a couple seconds. All right, I keep getting freaking customers every time I'm trying to do something important. I'm trying to figure out how to make this little gold link work. Worst come to worst, I've got a jeweler in town. Um, taking many things to him. He could probably make me. These are called basically jump jump loops. He can probably make me a jump loop that would uh, work. I just want to try this a little bit more. working there you go all right so now I got it working thank God I had to bend it a little bit to get it and it worked so now what I can do is, I've got needle nose pliers, I can either, actually it's, it's good enough, it's a little oval. So now, oh yeah, that's hard, that is stupid hard. Like I said, I, I retired the uh, the canary, and let's see, get a little less glare here. Five gram. Five gram pump, Vera scan. 
And uh, what I love about this chain though is, so I'm not gonna be wearing this chain like that anymore, like every day. I wear this chain all freaking day. I sleep in it, I shit in it, everything. Not anymore. I will be taking the chain off like so whenever I uh, go home and uh, I have a cool case for it. Look at that, look, dang. This is the hardest chain I got right now. That's the hardest setup right there. You got the fucking Monet Wu-Tang Killer B. You got my ameth rose gold amethysts with diamonds around it. And then now you got my uh, Pomp Veriscan. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I guess, I don't know, but uh, let's see, the my chain, I don't know the weight of my chain. I know that the weight of the, the bar is 5 grams, and I know that the weight of the bezel is 2.1 grams. So, oh, we're going to lay it all down on my Biggie Smalls jewelry scale. And it is 16 grams. Damn. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's 16.43 grams. That is officially half an ounce. Uh, this is $1,000 at least right here, if not more, because it's jewelry. So when you have jewelry, you automatically have a little bit more in uh, price because, you know, because it's jewelry as opposed to just a, a bar. But there you go. My five grand, well now it's seven grams because the bezel is two. So it's a seven gram pendant now. And my wife's pendant, see this little number right here. This is the five gram as a Vera scan. And then this is the five gram as a pendant pendant. And um, it's hard to see because it's angled, but this bar, the, the bar is, looks so much bigger now. So yeah, that is my installation of the uh, pump five gram. And let's put it on one more time to show how hard that bitch is. I kind of wish I would have got the one with the diamonds or something, like actual diamonds, but hey, this will work. Yeah, that'll work big time. All right, deuces. Um, hope you like the video. Hope you like the pendant. Came out dope. It was a bitch getting it in there, though, honestly. You have to, because the pendant is like this, you actually have to pry it open, and then you drop the bar in. And then you close one side, and then you got to get that other side good. And then once you got the other side good, you pop the screw in, and you screw it in. Got it working. It looks nice and cute. Um, actually, uh, let me get another toothpick. I also like to, uh, once I'm done, got a little bit of this glue here. I like to tap that side. Fill it with glue. Now the end has a little bit of glue in it. So you don't got to worry. Hopefully it won't come out at all. It shouldn't. I got it in there nice. Put a little bit of glue on there. But deuces. Uh, this is my 5 gram pump Veriscan pendant uh, installation video. Uh, I don't advise using fucking shit like this. Uh, I advise just going to a jewelry shop um, and having them do the piece. You could have just uh, cut the... That little link, that end link, uh, opened it, put the chain, uh, pendant through, put it back on, and soldered it. But I went around and I did it the ghetto rig way. It works. Um, I'm not going to be selling this or anything like that. And honestly, this is probably going to be the pendant I wear on this chain for a while now. So, deuces. Thank you. Like, share. Gold, gold. Gold, gold, gold out, man. Gold out. Gold out hard. Fucking hard.